Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we're going to be answering a question that has been asked a lot over the past couple of days. And that is, how many free-to-play uh, download celebration tickets or Memorial Dragonstones can we expect to get once the celebration officially begins? And for those of you that are somewhat new and you haven't been through a download celebration before, the way it usually works is that every year, Bandai slash Akatsuki will do a tally of the total number of Dragonstones that you spent over the last 12 months since the last download celebration, and then they'll send you one ticket for every 50 Dragonstones that you spent. So for example, if uh, in the last year you spent 1,000 stones, then they'll send you 20 summoning tickets. If you spent 2,000, it's going to be 40, 3,000, 60, and so on and so forth. And these are the same tickets that we've been getting so far for the countdown and that you can use for the uh, two ticket banners that are live right now. So yeah, that's basically how this whole thing works. Now last year, they changed things up slightly by introducing these purple slash blue Memorial Dragonstones, which kind of took the place of the tickets. So instead of sending us tickets directly, they sent us one Memorial Dragonstone for every 50 uh, regular Dragonstones that we spent over the last year, and then you can convert these Memorial Dragonstones into download celebration summoning tickets, and it's a one-to-one -one conversion, so one Memorial Dragonstone for one summoning ticket, or you could also use these Memorial Dragonstones to directly exchange for uh, Dokkan Fest units, and last year the conversion for this was pretty ridiculous in my opinion. It was 150 Memorial Dragonstones for any unit you wanted, which uh, is just too much, man. I mean, 150 Memorial Dragonstones would equate to 7,500 stones spent, you know, in a 12-month period, which for most free-to-play players is just impossible, right? So um, I hope that this year they do reduce the cost a little bit to like I mean, I think 50 is pretty reasonable. Even 100 seems a little bit high, but uh, we'll see exactly what they do. But the point is, what we want to know in today's video is that if you are a free-to-play player who has done everything possible to obtain all of the free-to-play stones that were available over the last 12 months and also spent them, then how many tickets can you expect to see in your box once uh, you know part one of the celebration starts? Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it, and uh, in order to accomplish this, we are going to be relying on these amazing posts by Reddit user Sparker, or maybe it's Sparker. Honestly, I'm not too sure how to say his name, so I apologize, but the point is, this dude has made free-to-play stone counts for essentially every single global campaign over the last 12 months, and probably even longer, and this video definitely would not have been possible without him. So huge, huge shout out to him. Really appreciate the hard work. And what we're gonna do now is very simple. We'll go through each of the global campaigns, starting with the worldwide celebration from last year, add up all of the free-to-play stones, divide that number by 50, and uh, we'll get our answer for the number of free-to-play celebration tickets we can all expect to get, okay? so. Uh, yeah, let's start here with the Worldwide Celebration, where we got the STR Vegito and Fizz Boo tanks. And for part one of the campaign, obviously I could go through like each point here for every stone source, but I think that takes too long, so the total for part one was 620. So I'm gonna just enter that into my calculator here. And then we can move on to part two of the celebration, which gave us uh, 234 stones. So that's 620 plus 234. Okay, next up we have the Late Autumn Awakening Autumnal Training Campaign, and this gave 109 stones. And then after that, we had the Maximum Thrills Halloween Campaign, and we got 142 stones from that. Okay. And then moving on, we have the Exploding Gratitude Dokkan Thank You Celebration Part 1, 2, and also the Dragon Ball Heroes Special Campaign. So for the Thank You Celebration, it looks like we got 287 stones. And then for the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Campaign, we got 70. Okay, so add those up. 
And then next up, there is the 2000 Days Celebration, which I don't believe K Van Sparker actually included in his count here. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna add in the 20 stones we got for the uh, thank you gift. And after that, there was the Prelude to Christmas plus Merry Christmas campaign. And uh, we got 93 for the Prelude. And then for Christmas parts one and two, we got 293. So yeah, we'll add in 93 plus 293. Okay, so after that, we have the Happy New Year's 2021 celebration parts one and two. And it looks like we got 292 in total for New Year's. And up to this point, just to give you guys a quick update, we are already up to 2,160, okay? So that's New Year's. And then from there, we had the To The Galaxy Dokkan campaign, where I believe we got the uh, end Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And there were 243. We had to play stones here. And after that, we had the uh, Galactic Crisis Protect the Earth campaign for uh, STR Bojack, where we got 115 stones. Okay, and from there we have the Awakened Battle Instinct the Saiyan Day campaign, and uh, that gave us 198 stones. Alright, and there's the All Out Effort Otherworld Showdown campaign, parts 1 and 2, and that was where we got the uh, Pycon and Janemba, and this one gave out 286 stones. And then there's the Towards the Galaxy Dokkan campaign plus Goku Day Celebration. And there were 280 stones available for Towards the Universe. And then for Goku Day, there were 211 stones. So I'll add in 211 and then 280. All right. Two Greater Heights Super Growth campaign. This gave out 178 stones. And uh, what was the unit here? Oh, Trunks and Goten. Okay, so yeah, 178 stones for this campaign. And now we have the Guidance of Fate Returning Hero campaign for LR Tapion and Minosha, who uh, I still don't have to this day, but that's besides the point. And this gave us 125 stones. And then there was also the 6th Anniversary Countdown, which gave 20 stones. So I'm going to just add in... 145 for those two and now we're going into the sixth anniversary which obviously just passed and we got a lot of stones for this campaign so adding in the you know login bonus special missions every new event extreme z awakenings top grossing co-op campaigns petum battle and so on and so forth we got 891 stones for the 6th uh, anniversary, which actually was a bit more than Japan's anniversary stone count. Not that it matters, just funny out of fact, you know? And finally, we have our current campaign, which is the Scorching Heat Summer Sprint campaign. And I noticed that K Van Sparker doesn't actually have a tally for this one, but that's fine because I just went ahead and did a quick uh, count of my own, and I came up with 100 and 11 okay so you add those in and our grand total here and keep in mind this could be slightly off okay like it's very hard to get every single stone source so i might be missing you know like five stones here two stones there and overall we might be off by maybe like one or two hundred but this should give you guys a rough idea and the total we have here for the last 12 months is 4,818 for you to play Dragon Stones. So you divide that number by 50, and we're looking at 96. Well, actually 96.36, but obviously you can't get a partial ticket. So 96 free to play summoning tickets for all players who are able to obtain all the free to play stones that were available over the last 12 months, and also, of course, spent those stones. And uh, yeah, that is a pretty good number. I think it might be slightly higher than last year. I don't remember exactly what the number was last year. If somebody knows, feel free to remind me in the comments. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. 96 stones. I think that's really, really good. And of course, if you guys are uh, you know pay-to-play players and you buy even more stones on top of that, then you can expect some more tickets. But just for the purely free-to-play player, 
you can expect about 96 summoning tickets when the celebration starts in a couple days. And uh, once again, I could be a little bit off, so it'll leave some room for error, but hopefully that answers your question. Hopefully most people are, uh, you know, satisfied with that and uh, look forward to the 350 million download celebration starting very soon. Lots of content coming your way, so definitely don't go anywhere. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.